Hello? Are you here? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I figured, figured since you were <clears throat> calling me a liar and then <laughs> saying uh, I was uncomfortable, I figured I would just answer your question. Okay, answer. Yeah, tell me. Were you uncomfortable? Uh, I was not uncomfortable. It, But people really, really said, they were like, yeah, but he, <laughs> he said she needs to change. He was so uncomfortable. Why didn't she know? <laughs> I think because... People read into things, and I think they feel like they know more than they actually do. And it's okay. We all do it. We all read into situations. And so I think they just had a different thing. You also had a whole context of like an entire weekend where we were going out to eat and doing stuff. So you could feel my vibe a lot more. So you had more information to go off than they do. So, you know, they just have that one interview, and they have the interaction starting with us being like, with me being like, this is a poor way to start a conversation. So I can understand why they feel that way. Did you um feel a need to advocate for that invisible person just because, or was were you like, is that like a flirty banter thing where you're like, oh, I'm gonna negger? Whoa, neg. no, there's no <laughs> flirty banter thing, nor is it a need. I, I just thought it was something that was interesting. It just kind of piqued my interest. I thought it was like very interesting. Yeah, Would I'm you- a nerd. I'm a nerd when it comes to like efficiency. I always think about what's efficient. You get me? Yeah, but I do too. And that's why I think going 100 is efficient because it shocks people. But I can see how it's efficient for you to go slowly because maybe slowly will bring out more information. Yeah, no, but I think that's why I use a foreplay analogy to be like, I don't think that's an efficient way to get people turned on. But we just disagreed about about that, which is fine. It's fine, different perspectives. Uh, But yeah, like I'm always looking at how things work and why they work. So, like, I'll watch people on interviews and podcasts and be like, what makes them a good interviewer? Mm. And like, as I watch them, I'm like, oh, they do this well, they do this bad. And then I I was taking interest. Yeah, that's true too, because I love watching interview shows and everyone does it differently. Some people take forever to get to the point. What if we, but if we had done that, you know, it would have been a two hour podcast and we had to go skating. Um, I mean, I think there's a lot of different ways to do stuff and, and I'm not here to advocate for anyone to do one thing over the other. I just think some things bring about different income outcomes. And so that's all it really comes down to. But again, it's just something that you said, and then I noticed, and I just took an interest in it, but it's not like a big deal. I'm not sitting here like crying over this. (laughs) Some people were like, man, he's never going to talk to you again. And I was like, I think he's fine. I think we're fine. I think it was fine. Am I autistic? I felt like it was fine. We had a good time. We had a good time. We had a lot of fun. We got to go eat and do a bunch of stuff. So, um, yeah, I don't know. To me, it's like some people might view me saying that kind of stuff as weird, or but I only do that if I'm really comfortable with the other person and they're receptive to things I say. So, like, all right, well, this is me or somebody I know, kind of. Uh-huh. So, I think you know how I rock. So, I'll just tell you what I think in this moment, and, and that was it. But, you Which know, I the same way, I don't think you made me uncomfortable. I don't think I was like overly rude to you, but people on the outside watching don't have the context of our conversations or us spending time in person. So it makes sense that they're going to come to different conclusions because they have different information, right? That's true. No, I felt really great. I felt really comfortable from the podcast to the slap. I felt, yeah, I felt like the energy was good all weekend. Like everyone was having a great time. Yeah. 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 I definitely agree. So that's why it's one of those things where it's, um, um, you know, people say like, Oh, in person, I, but you're more quiet or you're like more, chill or maybe not as talkative or whatever it is and i'm like that's generally true but you know i don't think it's a bad thing it's just i'm, I'm different um depending on the settings i have different parts of me that come out yeah, okay yeah like though okay uh yeah that's how i feel too like i have different parts like you guys definitely bring out my bubbly extroverted side where i'm like oh i'm just having fun in miami and it right. was so fun yeah. to be that britney um yeah. yeah i had a great time like it you know, it almost doesn't feel real sometimes, though. Like, I don't know if you have this as a streamer or a YouTuber, but like, I look back at those clips and it almost feels like I wasn't even there. Like, now I'm back home and I'm just on to the next thing. And so it kind of feels yeah. like it almost did happen. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I can definitely understand that. I think, um, do I feel like I was there? I feel like as I'm watching it through the clips, the clips seem more real to me than the experience itself. I could see that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that funny? So, like, when people. I, I, I remember the visual on youtube of me slapping you i don't remember actually doing it yeah right okay exactly like i can't remember how it felt but i remember yeah. like as i watch it back i'm like oh that's weird like that happened but it almost yeah it almost doesn't feel i wonder why like i wonder why that works in the brain but yeah that's how it feels Even i think it's because mm-hmm. we didn't think about it after the fact and so we didn't have a time to kind of create cement an image of the experience itself and the oh, next yeah. time we really thought about it is when we were either editing it or watching it on youtube and so that became our only image of it rather than like i know if something happens to me and i start pondering on it the visual becomes cemented whereas if i just see a visual representation then that's the only thing that exists 
afterwards. Yeah, that's a great point, actually. We didn't get a much chance to like talk or touch base before I left. I had to leave so fast. Absolutely. Yeah. But hey, I, you know, I appreciate you calling in right now and clarifying for the world that you can handle me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and, and like I said, you always have to take it from where the audience is coming from. They're coming from a different context. So anytime they're giving you a different feedback about interaction you had, maybe they see it accurately but it's also possible that they're just working off faulty inter- information so yeah. don't uh, don't take it to heart too much okay all right thanks abba no worries all right you have a fun trip going to europe okay thanks thanks okay talk to you soon yes ma'am okay bye, bye. In my head, in my life I'm in bed, my belly's being fed and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine, not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense. I've been nothing but blessed, so why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking, yeah. I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool Then